Highlight of the news in 1936 is the abdication of Edward VIII, King of England, monarch of the British Empire. Edward, shown here reviewing his troops, culminates a storybook romance with announcement of his intention of giving up the throne to wed Wallace Warfield Simpson, American-born socialite. George V, King of England, died January 20th, 1936, with Britain mourning its loss and hailing its new ruler. The king is dead. Long live the king. Edward VIII, forsaking his Prince of Wales title for the mantle of a monarch, assumed official duties as head of the military, but peace was in his heart all through his reign. In one of his early appearances before his people, he declared, Humanity cries out for peace and the assurance of peace. A speech for which he received an ovation from his subjects. The final act before the abdication was a visit by the ruler to the people of Wales, where reports of poor conditions in the mines had been brought to his attention. And then, Britain hears rumors of the abdication. Crowds wait for an announcement from the Prime Minister, making no secret of their sentiments where their king is concerned. Stanley Baldwin, Britain's Prime Minister, leaves number 10 Downing Street with official word of the abdication. The Duke of York, shown here with his wife, Princess Elizabeth and Sister Margaret Rose, is to be the new English ruler. And the first abdication in the history of Britain is to be accepted with mingled emotions by England's people but there'll be nothing uncertain about their loyalty to George VI and Elizabeth, soon to be king and queen of the British Empire. Meanwhile, all Britain waits for the official explanation of the abdication from Windsor Castle, and on December 11th, 1936, Edward prepares to make it. Radio links lands as the world tunes in, and the moment for Edward's talk is here. At long last, I am able to say a few words of my own. This was a thing I had to judge entirely for myself. During these hard days, I have been comforted by Her Majesty, my mother, and by her, by my family. It may be some time before I return to my native land. And now, we all have a new king. I wish him and you, his people, happiness and prosperity with all my heart.